The Cardassian Podcast. The Cardassian Podcast. The Cardassian Podcast. Listen if you want to. Okay, everybody. Welcome back to welcome, episode welcome. 59. Wow, the big 59. Yes. In an area. What? Wow. Really, everybody's, if you're listening to episode 59 and you're in an area, you're in area 59. That doesn't okay. make any sense. And it's 51, in, you stupid bitch. Well, we've been to 51, but what you don't know is that there's a 59. Stop. We were literally in there and there was no files on 59. Anyway. That you saw that we saw. Anyway, so... Uh, does anybody want to say anything before? Like, do you guys maybe want to give a special thank you to somebody, someone you really care about? Who would we want to thank? I don't know. Yeah, just thank somebody. you, listeners. Thank you, listeners. Yeah, I'd like to thank myself for getting up and sitting here for this podcast. Okay, wow, what a um, job well done. Courtney. I was trying. Yeah. I was trying to. Kim was going more in my ballpark. Uh, I just want to say thanks, special thank you to all of our listeners. You guys support me the world, and nobody said this before me, but you guys are like so loved. And yeah, thank we are the you. first ones to really say that to listeners. Nobody says that in podcasts. No, like nobody ever. says like, that enough. Is- yeah, You're sure. breaking ground. Mm-hmm. So to That's everybody, and like, and like, because I know you guys love us. Like, I know that you guys are leaving feedback on Apple Podcasts that you can like get a yeah, the chart and without yeah. you. Yeah. And without you guys listening, I I think I'd still be fine. But it's great that you wow. want to listen to. Us. Anyways, yeah. thank you so much, listeners. We, I would do don't... this with my sisters, even if people didn't like it. Can we please move on? Fine. But thank you for the like. Thank you for the ratings. They really help us out. That's what yes, they say. That's what they say. They really help us out. So five stars. So watermelon. Stay watermelon. Thank you. Okay. So, um, you guys left these questions and comments at simgmproductions.com slash podcast. Also, be sure to check out our watermelon merch at shopsimgm.com. Yeah. Also, subscribe to our new YouTube channel, The Cardassian Podcast Highlights. And thank you for well, your support over there. Still, I mean, I guess it's not new anymore, but yeah, subscribe to. I mean, it's less channel. than a year. Yeah, if it's I not guess. a year old, then it's still new. Anything yeah. over a month, I usually just throw out. But Unless you're listening to this podcast when we've become millionaires from this, like even more millionaires from this yeah, podcast. Yeah, like triple millionaires. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so check that out. It's funny. And in the comments, if you guys like have certain things that you consider to be highlights that may be traumatic to us, but you know, you guys know what you like more than them in the comments on the YouTube channel. Yeah. We're paying attention. Don't worry. Yeah. We see all the parts that you guys think are funny, which are (laughs) somewhat traumatizing. Some of them are a little bit. Yeah. Dumb bitch. A little bit. Just a little bit. I love, I love our listeners, but they're a little bit bullies. They're a little bit bullies. Uh, sometimes, but they do it with love. Anyway, so oh, we're going to get. I don't mind it. Of course you don't. Anyway, we're going to get into the uh, first segment now. Okay. So the first one is from Jaden Simlancy. Uh, I wonder Simlancy. if that's their real last name. I mean, well, it could, could be. be a Sim. It's, I mean, you could be our first Sim write-in. That'd be amazing. Maybe. Um, or you're just lucky with that last name yeah anyway so um hi to the best fighter and survivor oh my god you <laughs> chloe cardassim um thank you no say but how it's spelled again, chloe. you spelled somebody said they love me and they don't know how to spell my name um they put k-l-o-e but listen it's the love that matters um yeah, but it. no but maybe they're not talking about you though chloe Maybe you are are the the best fighter and survivor. Anyway, I have... Shout out to K-L-O-E, Chloe out there. This is Sim Lancey's moment, and you're taking it away from him. I have a question for Kim. How come you don't... uh, How come you don't you use your own products, but you expect others to buy? Weird. That's never been... That's how is that even like a question? Like Kim, that's when never you woke up this morning, uh, issue. What did you wash your face with? Water. And did you use any hands. products? Some soap? Did you use the glow 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 of soap? Of course. I mean, I know it's off the shelves what right I, now. When I make my products, it's not for me. 
of course I can use it. Will I use it? That's you know, up to me. That's a very are, private are matter. You, are you I'm saying a very private person. So you're saying your product is not good enough for I you? I did not say that. I'm saying I make the best products for customers. Am I a customer? No. I can't be a customer of my own product. I can't do Can- it all. One of the big selling. You guys expect so much. Oh my There's god! There's so much pressure at the top. Wow. Kim, one of the biggest selling points of products like mm-hmm. SimJLo, like what she does. Okay, yeah. she yeah. literally goes on Simstagram and she uses her own products in you videos. You think she uses her? That's why those get millions of views. And it's because she says, "I would use this," and that's why she uses it. I've she never even seen she... you promote Glow 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 and and use the product. Of course, I hold it. Okay, is holding it not your? Okay, you, I'm fine. using my hand. Okay, to do hold you it. even use your hand moisturizer? Do you even use that? Of course, it gets used, Chloe. <sighs> by by you. you, it gets used. Okay, I okay, buy... fine. And, I have and... samples of all of the, my products I use. They're all in my bathroom Chloe so I don't basic- think we're gonna get anywhere with those I, I mean no no I think we are I think she pretty much answered Jaden's question do you realize how the answer selfish- is no Jaden do you realize how selfish it would be for me to use my products and keep it for myself this is this is for you these products are for you there's no me in you they shouldn't be for anyone they should not be sold they're to for anybody. everybody they're not just for anyone they're for everyone okay I don't think anybody would want you in them okay the the answer to her question is no because of all the lawsuits is like a cautionary tale to not touch them so she doesn't even touch them that moving absolutely on not that is so untrue strike that from the record company yeah, the answer is oh totally no, then. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's uh, weird is that question, Jaden, because you have to know how to market. Okay. Uh, yeah. Margot Roth, or R- Roth, 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 Roth. Um, if you were a character, if y'all were a character in a rom com, who would you be? A hot popular girl. Oh, he's giving, or they are giving a uh, some examples. A hot popular girl who has the boy in the beginning, the ugly girl at the beginning, and then is hot when she takes off her glasses, and then gets the boy. Or the popular mean girl's ugly sidekick. Here is how I would put it. Oh God, um, Kim. Well, is you're the- asking us. Why are you then? Okay, well, they're, they want to give their own interpretation. Kim, the ugly sidekick. Chloe, the ugly wow. at the start and then gets the boy at the end. Oh, wow, if that's even possible. And Courtney is the hot, popular, mean girl. Emphasis on hot. No. Uh, love from the Carolinas. <laughs> no, that is not Germany, Kim. Heart. Wow. So, I know uh, the difference between the Philippines and the Carolinas and Germany. Anyway, <laughs> I think that they were spot on with how I would no. cast. Because you know what? I, am, Fine. I, I would be the ugly sidekick because, Chloe, if you're the girl that starts off ugly and then you get the boy, then that means that he didn't want you to begin with. Okay. I, I, believe, to I believe in going to the dentist to change yourself. Yeah, and then get attention. To show, you should have to already To show had who attention. I am on the inside. No, no, that no. That means no. you have a fake ass boyfriend. It means I had low. Listen, I I'm very well aware that I am a swan. That I became a swan, and okay. I and I am beautiful because I worked at it and I worked hard to get this revenge body. Like that's why they're giving you're, me this role because I am a revenge body person. Your no, no, hard, no, man. no! Your I'm dentist. not saying I'm not saying the dentist didn't give me a couple of fillings. What I'm saying is, is that I had to work for it. I had to work for the money to go to the dentist. You had to work I had to, to work, get those fillings. I had to work to maintain this body that I got from the dentist. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I, you know, I took care of myself. So I love this casting. And and Courtney but is. But that means mean. that the boy didn't give a like. I don't know he about didn't care about you. I don't care. I listen. I wasn't looking for a boy at the start of the film in my script. 
I wasn't looking for a man. You are because he usually found that, me. That girl this man, has a crush on the boy. That's no, how no, the no. rom coms work. No, this man did not see me before I worked on myself. So that's how it goes. No, he did. Wow, well, not that's in my usually script. The po- that not just, in my script. In this rom com, Chloe, you were ugly, and you had to work for it. And then, and he then saw you got you. noticed. So was I, the boy just not going to that school? I wasn't trying to get noticed before. In your script, does I the was boy quote, unquote, transfer ugly. to the school after you've transformed? Courtney, um, how do you feel about being the uh, like mean girl? That's well, the one who usually gets like screwed over, hit in the by end. a bus in the end, usually. Uh-huh. But you know, I'm good with that. At least I get mine in the beginning. Wow. Okay. Like, what? Who am I the sidekick to? They're just saying Me. I'm an ugly sidekick. Why would would I be be your sidekick? No, you would be the sidekick to Courtney. I'd be your side. Okay. No. If I was your. Okay. So I'm Chloe's sidekick and I just stay ugly while she transforms. No, you're not my sidekick. I'm saying you're my sidekick. Courtney. You're Courtney. What would I do? The mean girl always has the less less prettier girl on their side. Wow. You don't do anything. You just do what I tell you to do. No, then how about I'm the mean girl and I take because I'm a leader naturally in like real life. I run businesses. I would be Poorly. the mean girl. But yeah, okay, sure. I think this casting is perfect. I wouldn't change a thing. No. And like Actually, my Chloe could be body. the ugly sidekick because you guys are always bullying me, like teaming up and bullying, so that would be you. Then who would you be, Kim? The one I that would starts be the out girl ugly. Who's well, yeah. I I don't I would. You were talking the down that bit. when it was me. I would change the script a little bit, just a little bit. No, no. So, changing. So that the boy is the one who gives her the makeover. Anyway, That's we're gonna move done. on. We're gonna move on. Thank you. Okay, Margo. Margo Roth. Polo. Oh my god! No. Dismembered. Did ogres. Say ogres. Yeah, ogres. I thought that said, I thought that said, anyway. I thought it said orgies. Yeah, it's ogres. Um. Anyway. Um, Dismembered hello. ogres. Is that like a rock band? How can you have an orgy if, if they're dismembered? Yeah. yeah, think about that, Chloe. I mean, it's possible. Anyway, hello to the most gorgeous and intelligent women. I should say women, but it says women in the world, Courtney. Slow Hello. clap. Um, What's up? And More like ho clap. And to the other two. two. And to the other two. Anyways, wow. my question is, will Courtney ever release a makeup product? <laughs> no. I hope not. I'd probably, t- I probably, it'd probably sell way more than Go 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 ever could. Wow. All right, Courtney, I'll leave um, this to you. Since you're the make- would be, most gorgeous would and intelligent not woman. Interesting. I'm sure it would sell a lot more. You want to put makeup on your face that makes you look like the least interesting person in the room? You would I'm, buy Courtney's makeup. I'm just not interested in that business. I have my own shit to do. Okay. Notice but, she didn't say business. Okay, but like if you were to release a makeup, would you want to do like a fragrance or a lip like gloss? Like what kind or, of makeup? And like what would you well, name it? As, what, as what, you know, what, what's I don't your really inspiration? Need makeup myself. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. My inspiration is like lipsticks or no, probably like eyeshadows. Oh, to food. make people see. Look I told tired. you she would have the most least interesting makeup on the market. Eyeshadows are. It was still so better up. than glow, glow, glow. No, it it would go and it wouldn't be near. hazard waste material. You would be in the black so fast because where you want to be is the red. That anyway. I think you should sell but lashes or something. To answer that, no, I wouldn't. It doesn't you wouldn't, interest me. Courtney would probably like sell a face mask, and it's just her, like the quickest way you could get makeup done. So the makeup, the face mask, just has makeup already done on it, and you just slide it on your face. And then you have a face full of makeup. Anything to get it done as quickly as possible and to look as horribly as possible, Courtney's all over it. I mean, wow. I mean, listen, Kim doesn't usually have good ideas, but that kind of sounds like up your uh, alley. 
Well, I could make something like that for glow, glow, glow. I thought you were going to no. say up your ass. N- what? That too. No. Uh, but anyway, um, i not sure. I'm not sure. It's just that Courtney's just not interested in... Responsibilities. Any, anything. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for your question. Um, yeah, and it would question. sell better than Glow, Glow, Glow. It would. Uh, most if things do. Just, if it sold just one, it would sell more. It would. That's so, that's so, that's so, watermelon. 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 Welcome to segment two. That's so watermelon, where we're given five random topics and we decide if each thing is so watermelon or so not watermelon. Just don't sing again. I didn't just, sing. Is it each thing or each That's topic? Called... Isn't it usually each topic? No, I say five random topics and we decide if each thing is. Fine, whatever. I've always said that. It's even written, Chloe. <laughs> I'm that just out of written. it. I'm just so out of the, it. I'm sorry. The way she said two was like she was singing it. So, well, no, that's called flavor. You shouldn't punish our listeners. That's strawberry flavor. flavor. Do you want me to throw up right now? If no. it's good, it'd be a strawberry flavor. Yes, no, yes. If, if that flavor was a flavor. disgusting and distasteful and rude, then it'd be strawberry. Yeah. Love it. First topic puzzles. So, watermelon or so not watermelon? Uh, it's a mixed bag for me. Why? So, yeah. not watermelon. End of story. Yeah, it all depends. It involves thinking. But... Why would you? How can you have fun being confused? Think about that. Okay, the it ge- depends. It's designed for you to be confused. Who? Who is like? Who wants to get confused? That's Me. not. Not all puzzles are meant to get you confused. Okay, then what? What do they do then, Chloe? They they get they get your 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 uh, n- neurons and electrons working in your brain. Mm-hmm. And they get you That's thinking. That's what's in our brain. Like, I don't play video games, but I've heard people complain that this game doesn't have enough puzzles. You know? Yeah, so they're just like, I want to pay more for confusion. Does it's not always confusion. Kim, what do when puzzles, you, Kim, puzzles do? Are fu- Kim, puzzles if, are fun if I could solve them. Then yes, they're watermelon. Listen, some if puzzles, not, if they take hours, I hate. Like, if it, Okay, I get it if it's like a puzzle like on the ground. Like like a puzzle like like you put together like, like pieces pieces and stuff. I don't like those so much. I mean, those can be fun because it's visual, but like the puzzles that involve but math. Say you're mi- no, say you're I don't like those. A piece. Say you're missing a piece of that puzzle, and it's like, why would this be fun? Because now I just have this picture with one piece missing. Yeah, I'm well, missing then... the eye that Barney's supposed to have there, and it wasn't there. And Mom was like, Kimmy, okay. all the pieces Kim. are there. This is and they weren't, and I was like, yeah. why weren't they there? Kim, you were oh, f- puzzled. Kim, you were six. It yeah, was a you long have some time kind ago. Of scar. So that, no, you I'm not like saying your scar not, isn't real. I'm not saying it's not real. Puzzles are meant to frustrate you. They're meant to confuse you. And they're meant to damage you. Oh, wow. Why would any... And you know, if I become... When I become a lawyer, I'm going to outlaw this. Because that's what lawyers can do. They can outlaw things. Kim, that's not how it works at all. I'm on chapter two now. And I know the law. Anyway, you don't know anything. Puzzles can be so watermelon. I like, okay, let me say this. Puzzles can be like very super frustrating and I'm not that crazy about them. Yes. But I love the feeling that I get when I solve one and it makes it worth it. Yeah, it's like an orgasm. Okay. Well. Then it's like, what now? What do you mean what now? Because once the puzzle's done. On to the next puzzle. So then you have to go and buy a new puzzle? Kim, fine. If okay. you want to. If you, you want some endorphins of figuring something out as long as it doesn't in- uh, inquire numbers, because I hate puzzles that are based off of numbers, uh, but, like, everything else can be, like, it could be fun. Like, puzzles can be no. fun. There's nothing fun about... I think I think puzzles are so watermelon. because They're, they're so, so watermelon. Fun. So not watermelon. I don't like every type of fun. puzzle. But they can be fun. There's nothing fun about frustration and confusion. Okay, how about your chemist trying to freaking work your freaking glow, glow, glow products? And it's a puzzle to make that stuff Excuse usable. Excuse me, first yeah. of all, why are you coming at me with like such attitude? Is it the puzzles that's making you 
angry. No, I no. know that's what they do to me. I'm just saying you're being a little hypocrite. You're this being is a what kind of a hip- every you're time being a little hippo. You're being a little hypocrite. Being a little hypocritical. I'm not a hippo, first of all. And second of all, puzzles. Do you see even discussing puzzles is causing this 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 confusion and anger. So let's solve it. We were okay. just fine before we discussed puzzles and fine. now see what happened. Okay, we're fine. There's we're fine. Let's wrong move on. You. Let's move on. They're so not watermelon. Next topic. Rappers. So watermelon or so not watermelon. So not so, watermelon. So- Kim, now what? Kim. What? No end of story. So there hard. are Don't there are better. other. What's the point rappers. of saying words really fast and then? Oh, I'm a rapper. Maybe you're not. It's called the way they rap is like a puzzle. It's called spitting fire. First of all, if you don't have actual fire in your mouth, then shut up. Kim, listen, okay. I understand that this is a touchy su- subject. Up. I don't Go like talking. Go play some basketball, Kim. Chloe. Listen, okay, I was just trying to help you, you f- This isn't getting personal at all. When we had a topic about basketball, I didn't want to talk about it either. But th- I had to learn. Are so not watermelon. And that's all that I had to there learn. is to it. I had to. Fine, you're saying, like, well, like, there, there, are, there are a lot of fans of D. Nicki Minaj out there listening to this podcast so what about them that love lovers somebody who was rude to me when we brought her into our home uh, meaning this podcast i even remember what episode number that was i wasn't here they'll know yeah well yeah because you had to leave we had to you we only have so many mics chloe I'm just saying rappers can be great. I just don't like the rappers who pretend to be something that they're not that's the rappers i have an issue with yeah so like but and yeah, the, rappers are so watermelon. Our dog father is a rapper. So like as long Snoop. as he doesn't rap around me. <sighs> okay. Anyway, His entire I think essence is rap. When rappers are true to who they are and they and they make rhymes about what they like truly feel and act like, that's the kind of rappers if I, I like. If I was a rapper, yeah. I would spit ice. Then you would suck. And it would be frozen solid. Anyway, so they're so watermelon. They're so not watermelon. No, so not watermelon. They and it's not watermelon. personal. Kim, it's just they're with so not watermelon. It's not personal. With it's time. It's not personal, Chloe. You will be okay. Chloe. Okay, sister. I'm here for you. Shut they, up. Anyway, they're so watermelon because I'm they bitch. tell a story. They tell a story in a unique way. When it's true what to them. story? We're Any going story to the they club. Want to Simonim. What about Simonim? He's done okay, some good stuff. Well, has he? Sure. Name. Nicki Minaj. Like all, like we we have some good rappers. They're so not watermelon. Like find a new profession. All right, it's personal for you. We get no, it. no. I said I did not say that. Anyway. All right, next top. We're moving on. Next topic. Summer camps, so watermelon or so not watermelon. With our experience in them, so not watermelon. Yeah, I would say yeah. so not watermelon because if there's not a killer at the camp. I'm yeah, that's great. it's probably oh, but, way better. I mean, I told you guys about well, that, that nightmare. Was a, that, I had. Yeah, you told us about the nightmare, but like we'd ever listen. If you, it depends on what summer camp you go to. That kind of summer camp that Chloe dreamed about. It's so not what has though. happened. That that dream I had yeah. was based off of a story that I that I heard. Yeah, and it, it turns and it out it was like me. actually in newspapers. But that nightmare and that yeah. story scarred me. And I I don't want to go to a summer camp. I'm sure there's people out there that had we great went to a different kind of summer camp growing up. It, like ours involved limos. They had shrimp and lobster out. If you there were it. no other people there, but us. you were able to have massages. It wasn't out in the woods. That just sounds like summer break Kim, for us, not summer yeah, camp. Yeah, we don't really yeah. call it summer camp. We and say it w- summer break. We, we would say we're going to a summer camp, but mom told us to tell that to the other kids so that they wouldn't feel like you know, you know jealous yeah. or whatever. Yeah, so, that we weren't um, we wanted special be, treatment. We want to be seen as equal, but I don't know why. I still told the kids that she I did. Had and wow. They try to TP our um, house. They had tents. 
we had a house. They had to all stay in these log cabins all together. And it was just like, ew. And mm-hmm. so they tried to TP it. And that poor girl got tackled so hard by our security guard. Yeah. But our bodyguard. But I mean, that was her fault. That was her fault. We all Courtney did was say the kind of treatment we got. And yeah. they just yeah. lost it. I just told them to suck it. And then I walked away. Yeah. And, you know, if you try to come at us, we have protection. And listen, like so I really said, that was on her. If, you know, you have a good experience with summer camp like we did, then great. Mm-hmm. But as, but as yeah. a whole, a normal summer camp, not for me. Yeah, the normal. Yeah. When we looked over our lake. We saw that it didn't look that much fun. Yeah, they yeah. had like campfires and yeah, singing. like marshmallows. Yeah, s'mores. And it's like, you guys, do you wash those sticks? Like, yeah, who wants like we, to sit on the ground like or we on a made, log? It's like we made s'mores, but we made it indoors. Yeah, there's a kitchen. <gasps> that for rhymed. A yeah, um, wow. there's a kitchen for a reason. A natural yeah, Dr. wow. Sims-Zeus. Thank you. I mean, we're just talking about rappers. Oh my god! Maybe I no, should. No, we're not. Maybe I well, should uh, get in the no. recording. No, I, I don't some think so, ice. Chloe. Yes, maybe you should. Spit that's my something. thing. You should spit something right now, Chloe. What? I boom, don't have... boom, cha. Boom, boom, cha. Uh. boom, boom, cha. Boom, boom, cha. Boom, boom, cha. Boom, boom, cha. Boom, cha. Boom, boom, name him Chloe. Don't do Chloe. I like chicken in my hickory smoke shop. What? Glow, glow, sex. What? What? That well, that's glow, glow. That's the knockoff Bit, of glow, glow, bitten glow. some ice. That was horrible. You weren't even on beat, Chloe. I was on beat. Maybe I wasn't for you. Anyway, so yeah. But anyway, back to the the uh, topic. Uh, yeah, I think we just said the normal ones. Not they're not watermelon. Yeah, so not watermelon. Yeah. But if you come, if you did our kind of summer camp, so watermelon. Which yeah. is basically just a getaway that has a yeah. camp like yards Next away. connected to it. Yeah, it yeah. just yeah. happens to be near it. It happens yeah. to be in the same. That you had custom made built over the year to experience mm-hmm. it during summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So technically a summer camp. We're really like everybody else if, when you think about it. Try to be. Next topic. The Squadily Dedum. So watermelon or so not watermelon. Wow. Everybody Talk calls about it. A it call was back. literally... The it was literally duck. a duck. Don't Listen, call it. I mean, you could call it a squally D dumb fine, but it is a duck. It is a duck. And uh, I'm glad that this topic was brought up because, yes, I thought I actually loved I loved that duck. OK, quack, 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 quack was adorable and they were very helpful for our situation. But please don't call like we're in a wizard world. I can believe these weird names, but it was a duck. It was a giant duck. Mm-hmm. That's it was a it. duck. We yeah. were trying like there's so much you can we'll accept all these weird words and phrases you have over there in Hogwarts. In but... Cindio, like spell names and all that. Yeah, all those weird Petroleum things. Petroleum jelly was pretty easy though. Yeah, that was yeah. But it's like you do you like were the wizards not creative when it came to naming their I mean I think the issue was is that they were trying too hard. They're, it was a well, duck. Yeah, they were trying too hard. Yeah. They're they like, really like, were trying sound, too hard. They're like, what sounds stupid? Squaddle yeah. do dumb. Yeah. Those like, great wise wizards couldn't even think of like it's like it's just a, call it a duck. You don't have to be that different. Yeah. Like the thing is is that I I mean I guess they wanted to give a name for an oversized duck. But at the end of the day, it's a duck. It's and a I duck. feel like it, they changed that name to make it harder for exams. It's like, what is this yeah, a photo really, of? Yeah. At the end of the day, I do think it did come down to how hard can we make these exams? Yeah, how- and you do lose points if you don't spell it right. Yeah, because Chloe tried to put duck on her paper. Yeah. And, and automatically I, it was wrong. I got that question wrong. And it made yeah. me get an A minus. Oh, please. You oh, really please, think what? you got an A minus or did okay, you do a spell B to change your grade? Minus, B minus. She doesn't know how to do a spell to change her grade. There You're, should be something out there. I'm I sure mean, there if I mean, I think what we need to do is create our own spells. I think Hermione 
if she had that thing, that to crazy change the time, time traveling bitch, who's to say she didn't keep changing the time to then hear the answers and then she would go back and say the answers? She probably did. The I think well, the she thing did is, that is that she, she did that so that she had more time to study and to I get around. I don't think she's actually. I don't know smart. if she cheated. She just, she's too much of a good she to cheat. She hundred percent cheated. She had that. She had that little time turner thingy this whole time. I'm pretty sure she cheated. That's I'm just pretty what you sure you would do, Kim. Well, yeah. yeah, that's what I would I'm do. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Hermione wouldn't be even able to sleep at night if she did that. Like honestly, Probably. I think she would have that's, night sweats. It's, it's a possibility. Yeah, and she would go. But like, she Professor Dumbledore, her. I must tell you something. It's like yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's like he no, doesn't. She, a, like she doesn't even care. Like that was a pretty good impersonation. Oh yes, my god, thank you. It was like she was in the room. That was weird. Yeah. Quack quack was so watermelon. Yeah. The name itself. The name, the name, the is name not water- so, so watermelon. not watermelon. Yeah, name stupid. The animal love that. Yeah. Love quack quack. Mm-hmm. Glad we saved it. Yeah. Cause that was so our idea. Yeah, yeah. and the duck came to me. Hermione just happened to be there. She had the instrument, but it was all our idea. Yeah. Like, watch it back. We knew what we were doing. Last topic. Being concerned. So watermelon or so not watermelon. Being concerned? Being concerned. It's so not watermelon. Why is it yeah, so not watermelon? I think it's so watermelon because I'm always concerned. About what? I'm concerned about absolutely nothing. So okay. then how... But, like, okay. what does that mean to, like, not be concerned? Like, you have to be concerned about some things. You're being concerned about not being concerned? Pretty I much. mean, I mean, don't you care? So have you're you ever worried been that you don't get concerned? Have you ever been concerned about not caring sometimes about certain things? Yeah. Or have you ever been concerned about being a bitch? Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, that has to be hard at times. That has to get to you. at Like, that has to nah. Yeah. Okay, you guys on your craw. Okay, so some things you, you seem do so care, concerned. You do concern. You're concerned about. Yeah, I'm. I'm never concerned. So it's it's so not watermelon. Okay. It's so not watermelon because it. I takes think there's up more so to much... that, Courtney. I think there's something underneath that. Yeah, something you pull it open and there's nothing. My biggest issue is that I'm concerned about things all the time, and I'm just trying to help. You know, like I, I want to I want to help people. Mm-hmm. And that's what mm-hmm. I do. Like I, I was concerned about people's health. So I did revenge body I was concerned about people feeling like they had flat asses. So I decided to become a founder of Booty Booty Pop Juice. Founder? Founder. Yeah, I thought, like, you, I thought well, you just promoted it. You mean you it. found well, it? No, 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 you no. You found no. it. That doesn't make there, you a founder. There's some things in the works. Um. What are you about. seriously about to buy a part of Booty Booty Pop N- Juice? No, they just feel that my brand has really helped the company. Wow. I, I, I won't get into details, but things are going really, you know they're really, my competition, really good. right? In certain um, aspects, I do, and we are also the aspects. answer to your product. Um, but anyway, so I, I am think concerned. Being concerned. I am a concerned person, but in the best way possible that you could ever be. My okay, that sounds more like you're just a, a narcissist, not. Concerned. Yeah. I think you're, you're concerned stupid. about yourself. I, I think you're a stupid bitch. How about that? I'm not concerned about it. I think clearly being clearly. I think being concerned is so not watermelon because I have a rule at Glow Glow Glow. When you walk through that door and you make that product for these customers, I tell them Don't, don't give be a concerned. shit. Oh don't my be god. Concerned about the customers and this these these lawsuits and the people on hold for the the call center don't I be you concerned. You told them to put on a hazmat suit. Yeah, no, be- that's for certain items. But I told them to not be concerned. All items. You know why be concerned, concerned when you can just right. not care? There is a glow 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 hazmat suit, and you have to have a hazmat suit to I look at that I might sell product. some. I might sell some. Oh my god! We make so many because oh. our hazmat suits are specific. They're very thick, so I'm like, we could sell this. You're gonna, make you know what? Low, that low, is a good idea. Hazmat suits. I might. Actually, that is a good idea. You should create a hazmat suit because all of your products are so dangerous. You have had to create the most like impeccable, well, we've made- like like 
like yeah we have a very suit. strong hazmat suit specifically for our pro- our products i'm not saying they might work for other no, dangers out i think there. i think they'll work for any danger and every danger the problem is when suit. they hit well it's not actually a problem it's actually made to self-dissolve if water hits it so if you have the hazmat suit on i tell everybody get very dry put on deodorant put on that anti whatever kind of deodorant and do not sweat. The second you sweat, the suit dissolves. You're telling me that your hazmat suit yeah. Can yeah. cannot withstand H2O. It can't withstand water. <sighs> Unfortunately, I did see a prototype. It's like rainbow colored and has mm-hmm. holes. Well, and no, the holes is said, so you can breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Certain people breathe have to breathe. And then others so, might um, have one without holes. I thought you were onto something. I could still sell these. It just says keep away you, from water. Kim, do you know how much? Oh, Kim, do you know how much water is involved in like chemicals and makeup and like all the things that you make? You Not have a at glow, glow, glow. A, Not at a, glow, glow, glow. You have a face wash that has water in it. There and is no. We're getting rid of that, Chloe. Kim, it's called. You, you have to innovate. I if, thought if that she was about business, to get something made for NASA for a sec, and I thought, oh my god, wait, her hazmat suits, but now it can't withstand I, water. I had well, no hope. You Me have either. to work, and there's no water in space, so that solves that. <sighs> okay, and that's, right. they, they don't use hazmat suits in space. So being concerned is so not watermelon. Okay. Is there a problem, Chloe? Yes, I mean, that doesn't yes, there is, you. but it's not going to be solved in this lifetime. So not watermelon being concerned. Yeah, it's it's so watermelon if you do it for the right reasons. Yours are selfish reasons. So how are you going to tell them? I'm concerned about your customers, Kim. I'm concerned about I'm, the people that work for you. Be. I'm you concerned don't have to be. about all that the lawsuits. Is a rule here, you have when you're a businesswoman, you can't stop and be concerned that is uh anyway you gotta keep it moving we yeah well, let's keep it moving let's keep it moving to the next production production next production uh, okay who's the smartest me me now it's time for the best segment of the day segment three and it's called who's the smartest of the this, day yeah, whatever of the day don't this argue with her this is her segment, Kim. This is her moment. Yeah, shut up. Even if she is wrong. So if this is your first time listening in, this is when we're given three random words we don't know, and we try to guess what they mean. Whoever guesses the closest is the smartest. And I love new um, listeners, but like go to the beginning. Yeah, like go to number one and then work your way. Earn this episode number. Yeah. Or just skip ahead. I don't care. No, yeah. earn it. Listen to everything. First word, algalogny. 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 A l a l g o l a g n i a. I want to say this sounds like algae in your vagina, but I think. This oh my is god, like, that is disgusting. That I is, think. Ew. I'm just trying to be scientific about the word. But I do think this is not that. But it to me, I think it has to do with baloney. It's funny that you said algae up. I'm not going to say it. But to me, it does sound like something that is sea-based. That's what it sounds like to me. Not baloney, but uh, something that's like, like, it has to actually do with algae, like, and like coral reefs and like water. Bottom stuff. Or yeah, like so the stuff that's on the bottom. Things, things the that sea. we don't even things that we can't even reach. We don't there's even things know about, about there's, yet. there's things that we don't know about the oceans. That's just like a whole like other world the out there. Is. Yeah. But yeah, we I'm found the Titanic. Sure. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe okay, like well some kind of Well maybe, that's the point. I don't know if you kind of shut up. Maybe it's anybody kind of who's seasoning. new, you're supposed to guess. I think it's a seasoning of some kind. Oh, add some algalonia to the lasagna. With my mesquite, which is disgusting. No, put mesquite on nothing. Mesquite is disgusting. They're you, kind if of, you want bark, these, tree these bark on your These two are kind food. of scarred by mesquite seasoning. If you want to put, Chris is you so are heavy too. when she bothers to cook. 
don't put mesquite on anything. That's just like, if you want me to go bite into a tree, fine. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. And I think the tree would taste better. Yeah. Do we have our guesses? Yeah, I think it has to do with bologna. I think it has to do with uh, the oceans and algae. Like the bottom stuff stuff on the bottom Mm -hmm. of the ocean. Yeah. Okay. With like Nemo and all of them. Look, Nemo and Algalonia. That's what he sounded like. It actually means sexual pleasure derived from enduring or inflicting pain. Um, Baloney. How did I not know? No. That? Somebody call. Uh, somebody call Rihanna in here because it's about to get you know, S and M in here. S, S, it's gonna M. get Algalonia. It's about yeah. I could see why you wouldn't sing that. Yeah, because that oh, may I be like bad, but Algalonia. Angelania. Um, listen, if I I was completely off, um, that's not. Well, no, I think mine is kind of similar. Kim, I mean, shut up. Because baloney could be a safe word. <sighs> that wow. is nothing. That has nothing to do. We're not talking It'd about safe like, words. I mean, you were closer. Then... You were closer with your first thing you yeah, said al- with well, vagina. If that's part of the alga, if that's consensual, and they want algae in their vagina. Oh my god! Second word, litholatry. L i t h o l a t r y. This sounds like this sounds like something that has to do with like religion. Litholatry. To me, this sounds what if like it's something. Litholatry. It sounds like something that's like religious, like something that's like in like like a Bible or something. Okay. Oh, lithology. A- like someone would even scream it out. The like lithology in a says. Oh yeah, wait, but, so is it just what, something you? But what? Yeah. In, in, I don't know. It just, it just sounds like like a chapter. No, it just sounds like something that is like a term that is used in biblical times. Do you know? Like something, I, I I can't get into specifics, but it just sounds something biblical. Something biblical. But you just said like a church person would shout it. I, I'm saying I can see a church like talking about it. It just sounds like something that would be like in the Bible or something. Religious. Okay. Like, like this like, sounds like. Okay. It sounds kind of religious. Yeah. Religious. Like I feel like this I can see this like, like the Bible. Litholatry. It sounds like something that. Like that lifts that has to be with science and scientific reasoning. Lifting up the it Lord, has... like a no, lift? no, like a like a hot air balloon would lift. It takes lithology, oh. lith- lithology, to lift uh, this item. Okay, like Easy. the act of being able to have something rise. Okay. Lifting, rise. Okay. All right. All right. I think it has to do with uh, gases. Maybe, maybe the study Isn't of that gases, like what I said. I'm not talking about lifting anything. Yeah, and but don't gases said, help? Like, gas. shut up, Chloe. Because when you fart, that's not lifting anything. Maybe your ass, but yeah, but ga- like gas lift up. Oh my god, the curiosity is killing me. Let's find out. So you're saying gases. I'm saying something that lifts up. And then I'm saying Chloe's biblical. saying... Yeah. It actually means the worship of stones. Oh, you were so close, Chloe. I mean, it yeah, has to I do with some worship. sort of worship. You are kind of close, but you were saying biblical time any other words there uh, what anything all, else to the definition first of all why are you worshiping I'm stones looking. well you know like 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 aphrodite or something you know there's stone? it just, it just says they never the saw the actual of, gods and goddesses they saw the statues the worship of stones of particular shapes so that's the deepest so if something's color. shaped i would understand it if it was like shaped like a watermelon or something that makes no sense I don't get I it. I worship this rock. Oh my god! Can I get like half a point or something? I'll give Chloe a half. We'll a point. We'll say half a point because I, you were it, kind of right about not it really. Is, but. I mean, I was saying biblical, but I was also just talking about like religious. But yeah. and I guess that's worship in a and way. That is kind we, of religious. We did, yeah, we did mention like religion. I, so yeah, it yeah. is kind of yeah. Okay, so, so half a point. 
I was way off. I mean, it's not biblical, but it's a stone. It's not, but it is still like yeah. worshiping something. And you but did what bring was up the first Bible written that. on stones? I don't know. Shut up. Well, what do if they're worshiping? They're lifting up these stones. Shut up. Oh my god. Go to the next. Get a last word. And the last word is brisummer. Brisummer. Love one another. Brisummer. B r e s s u m m e r. Literally, breast summer. It sounds like a, a short what? summer that didn't Brisbane. last long enough. Or best summer ever. Yeah, but this says breast summer. Like, there's no best. It says breast. Listen, B-R-E-S. all I could think about is the season summer. Braise some breast. I feel like this might be like something you do to food. This sounds like something like oh. we're going to bring this roast into a breast summer. Yeah, but what are you doing to it? Like you're roasting I don't, it? Like some sort of cooking mechanism. I don't know. Like something has to do with seasonings and whatever you do when you cook. But it's like a it's a type of tenderizing. It's a type of thing you do. In a recipe, I just think it's something has to do with like a cooking method. To me, it sounds like a summer that was the same as any other summer, but it felt like it went by so fast because it was brisk, even though that's not what it is. So this summer felt like a breast summer. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. To me, it's like putting a blessing on something. You, co-child, you have a breast summer. Yeah. Oh my god! I bris, I bris summer this upon you. All I know is after this podcast, I'm never gonna say this word again. Yeah, this it's stupid. I or might say me, algalone. I say it's stupid now, but then it may be something so important. Or maybe it's what? Shut up, Chloe. Or oh maybe to bestow something upon, like to a night snow on you. No, it's I don't like just said. turning somebody into a night like I bris summer. I thought that's what you already meant before. Okay, good. I thought I had to give more of an example. No. Well, let's just find out what it is. And I definitely honestly, putting like, a stove on someone is way left field. Let's find out what it is because honestly, like, I, it, I don't even care because the word is just like... It's a cooking... Yeah, you'll this? care if you get the point. Yeah, but of course I will. But like... who You know who says this? Chefs. Okay, it means a girder extending across a large opening in a building to support the wall above. Nothing that exciting. Me? Are you it's so it's a damn beam? Yeah. Say beam. I guess they Who's said gonna this... walk around and say, Oh, uh construction guy, you got that for summer? No, but I've got this... a beam. Cause I'm I speak like a uh, adult. People said this pre A C D C. It it derived from the word sumpter or French samir. How about you keep French where it belongs? Out of the internet where we look up these yeah. definitions. So yeah, it just means a, a loading, a it's load a bearing beam. beam. It's, it's a, a beam. damn beam. Say a beam. I'm well, so maybe, sick of I'm well, maybe so tired before. of people. It's a, it's a sexier way to say it. I'm Bressimer. so tired of people trying to be more fancy than what they are. Listen, I think Bressimer came before the term beam. And it's like, that's so stupid. Just call it a beam. Now, what sounds more appealing? Bressimer. But Bressimer, beam yeah, sounds but better because like, okay. it's quicker and it gets the point across. Yeah. The fucking and beam. time is money. Yeah. And speaking so, of no time, point. I'm so we are out of time. We are out of that time. Yes. Oh uh, darn. Yeah. I just really want I really wanted to talk about breast simmers, Mar. Yeah. I know all of you at home did too. As I lean against a breast simmer. Anyway, once again, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much. And um you can go to our shop. You can mm-hmm. go to shopsandjam.com. Yeah, if you, you have any all, questions, can, or just go to the site, look around. Whatever. If you have any questions mm-hmm. that are comments you want to leave for the podcast to get your name on here, or whatever, go mm-hmm. to simgmproductions.com slash podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll try to get to you. Like we get hundreds of those, like two hundred or whatever. So it's hard to choose. Apparently, it is hard but, to choose. But. 
but thank you so much for listening. We don't though. choose it though. So. Thank you so much for listening. No, we're not going to leave them with that, especially what? if they're on their way to sleep Why, us yeah. in this podcast. All I said was they that could be sleeping, they could be eating, and they and could I be would walking. And I would soothe them with my voice. But like, it my doesn't, voice is very soothing. But it doesn't matter because you're listening to the Cardassian podcast. Oh my god. You brought it back. No, it's it's not ending on that. All so right, thank you. For listening. Thank you. And, and just the, we love mwah. you. It's over. We love you so mwah. much. Mwah. You guys are the best. Nobody wants to be kissed by you, Chloe. Mm, kisses. Nobody Bye. wants to kiss me. I love you. You want to talk about nightmares. Oh my god. Sweet dreams. Stop blowing a kiss. We're not going to end it on that, Chloe. Like end like a regular. Shut up. I'm trying up. to end the podcast. You Love are yet. ending the podcast. Love you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end the podcast. Good night.